lot of people are asking if alternative fee arrangements are here to stay, and we believe they are. We're hearing this uh, from our clients, and uh, we're seeing it out in the, in the press. If you read things like the National Law Review and other publications, they're talking about the, the new normal of law firms, the fact that you've got to deal with new arrangements, whether that's a fixed fee, a capped fee, uh, volume discounts, collared arrangements where you have minimum and maximums, going to value-based billing, contingency fees, all of that is happening on a daily basis at every large firm uh, in the United States today and around the world, actually. Uh, it's important, though, to keep perspective because what we call today alternative fees were actually the way law firms build for centuries. The billable hour as we know it today really grew out after World War II and be did become the dominant way that law firms build. But we're seeing kind of a reverse of that trend. And while I have no doubt that the billable hour is here to stay as well, you're going to have a balance between billable hour work, fixed fee, volume discount work. You're going to see all of these things come together to create a complete package of offerings. In summary, whether it's billable hours or alternative fee arrangements, whether those are fixed or capped fees or, or new types of arrangements that we haven't even thought of yet, they are here to stay, absolutely. They become part of the overall package, overall relationship between the law firm and the client. In order for law firms to be competitive in the marketplace, they're going to continue to come up with new arrangements that offer their clients the value that they're looking for out of legal services. There's a lot of things that you have to consider if you're going to offer alternative fee arrangements. You need a certain infrastructure in place in the firm in order to be successful with it. And there are three things I think you need to look for. One is you need metrics. You need the data. You need to be able to get that information out of your system. You need to be able to have benchmarks against which to measure yourself. Right? And you need tracking. So once you've agreed to an alternative fee arrangement, you need things like budgeting tools and other things to say, how are we doing against our plan? Are we on plan? Are we ahead of plan? Where do we stand right now? And then finally, the third thing that you need, which is often the hardest thing to get inside of a law firm, is accountability. At the end of the day, you need tools that will help you hold the partnership accountable for the success of the organization so that you have the right outcomes. And the good thing to know is that with your 3E or enterprise system, you have the tools you need to achieve those outcomes. You need the tools that will help you manage alternative fee arrangements in order to make sure that you have a profitable, positive outcome on a matter engagement, in particular if it's a fixed or capped fee matter. What you want is you want to know what your cost structure is. and You want to be able to look at your historical data, mine out what's in the system today, figure out how much effort it really takes to complete certain categories of work, certain types of matters, right? And that will help you accurately price the new business that's coming in with fixed or capped fee arrangements. Your elite system is well designed to handle AFAs, whether you have enterprise or 3E. While we have added some additional capabilities inside 3E to make alternative fee arrangements more manageable, you still have a lot of power inside the enterprise system. And that's whether you're dealing with fixed fees, cap fees, volume discounts, what have you. Uh, all of those fee arrangements can be managed from inside the system. When you first go to set up one of these alternative fee arrangements, it is usually best to use our consulting services. Uh, we have expertise, we know the best practices, we can bring that to bear on what you're trying to do at the firm. Both 3E and Enterprise have a number of tools that help you manage AFAs successfully. There are a couple different areas that these tools uh, interact with the software. One area is when you're looking at the matter itself, being able to set up the right pricing terms, whether that's a fixed fee, a capped fee, a volume discount. Both Enterprise and 3E have the tools that allow you to set up the matters in that way. But in order to properly price the matter, you first really have to mine the data. So both systems have a deep and rich repository of information that you can use to help figure out what is appropriate fee to set on this type of matter, this type of agreement. Um, in 3E, those tools are native and available just out of the box. With Enterprise, there's a number of third-party products and, and business intelligence tools that we have that can get that data out of the system. Another aspect is that once you have this agreement in place, you need to be able to budget for it. So we have the matter budgeting capabilities in both systems that allow you to say, okay, I set a value, I'm expected to do this amount of effort in order to get the outcome that we desire. If that goes too high, if we start spending too many hours on it, we get alerts and notifications right in, in the inboxes of the attorneys and the partners so they can manage that better. So all those tools together help you get a complete picture 
around managing alternative fee arrangements. Get started with alternative fee arrangements for Elite. The, your best bet is to contact your account manager. In the event that you don't know who your account manager is, there'll be more information at this end of the video that you can use to reach out to us.